Alright guys, Sunday, Sunday, sorry, Saturday, April 13th, 2024, 1.15pm now. I am walking on the Kandowski Extreme Trail down on Valley Ave right now. Hiking down a little wet in some places, it's a little bit of snow melt. The stream is way up there, as you guys can see over there. Uh, so I spent a hike a few a few areas today, a few trails, so walk down over here by the stream for a minute. There's gonna be a canoe race that's coming week, next weekend and a week from today coming down through here. The water's gonna be nice and high for it, so it'll be fun to watch. We'll slippery over through here and we'll muddy uh, that's the Kanduska Extreme you can see how high it was right up to here so this is where the water stopped at which went down a little bit because they didn't rake this guys this is all where the water's edge was. Pretty nice day, some good views of the stream. Down by the old dam place down here. There used to be a dam where they tore it down, so the foundation left. Walk down by there. So, during the day, well, it's windy now, wind's picking up. Uh, other than that, it's not bad, nice out. Get my long sleeve shirt on. A nice trail out through here. You can see where the water did come up over here. I see this part of this trail is underwater at times. It does that every year when spring first first gets here and it starts warming up and melting and the ice jams break and when the breaks start flowing through, but. Before they break and they jam up down here, they cause the, the jams cause the flooding, so. Nice area out here too, you can hear the birds chirping and stuff. Nice, always groomed through this, this is the park, so. This, this trail system right here through Bangor is part of the park. Really nice view of the of the stream right across here. week I gotta pay my car insurance on my car in my truck and then in a couple weeks I gotta re-register my truck yeah I still get the truck I'm driving the car more than the truck right now summertime you know this winter when bad weather gets here again I'll drive the truck again Uh, 
and I'll drive the truck like when I need to have my car have my car worked on and I'm going to face down or something like I get it worked on. I drive the truck down. But I'm just going to be using the truck as a backup. I'm going to just start some work on the truck too right off. Put that exhaust down, fix the exhaust, do the body work on it that it needs. Repair the gas tank strap that broke on it. Don't need an awful lot, so and do the rear brakes on it. You'll do the rear brakes in my with my car as well. I just need the rear brakes since I bought it, so. Uh, I've had the car less than a month right now. The dude seems to be doing good, going fine. Oh yeah, the rocks, can't even get up to the rocks today. That's how high the water is, guys. Wow. Up there, up there nice and high. So, I used to go swimming over there when I was a kid. Not when the water was like this, though. The water used to be blood. When I used to go swimming there as a kid, the water was blood. More shallow, the more dirt this time of year, so. But we used to call that place Bubbles as a kid. You know, buddy, hey, want to go to Bubbles? Yeah. We can over here and go swimming. It was called bubbles because of that little waterfall where the rapids are there. When the water's down, it's more like a waterfall. We used to slide down over that and go under water. If you didn't do it right, you'd have some rocks under there you'd hit. I've hit the rocks several times going under over there as a kid. Surprised I never knocked myself out. But anyways, call it bubbles because you go over the falls and go right under and all you'd see is, if you get it with your eyes open, all you'd see is bubbles when you went under the water. So pop up and swim back up and do it again. Down by the I-95 bridge down here. Go over, drive over this every day to work. Always oh, putting graffiti down here. As you can see, to me graffiti's not pretty, so. I don't know why they do it. It's not something that's pretty. Uh, we had to make my way down a little ways here and I'll turn back and get the car. Yes, guys. I don't like to leave the car parked in one spot for too long here in Bangor because there's vandals all over Bangor. the car too. I'm going to be putting my hoodie back on. Starting to get a, just a little chilly. Not too bad, just a little, little chilly with that wind blowing. Nice in the sun when it's not blowing, nice and warm. That wind picks up. Just a little chilly at times. I'm 
going over here by the little rapids here. It's a nice day for some walking, a few little trails to walk along. The trail over there too, but they're now got it posted and stuff. This private property up there fenced off. Power company owns that now. It used to be a good walking trail up there years ago. But can't walk on it no more when the power company owns it. On the other side of the river here, there's another trail that goes along the stream. That's not really, I don't know how to put it, it's not really a trail like this one. It's an ungroomed trail that people have made by walking through the woods. You see, that's what that trail over here used to be doing. You walk through the woods, it's a walking trail over there. Ungroomed, you know, because it really weren't meant to be one, but people walk through there and made a footpath. And if you go up through there, follow that, you can come up to Lover's Leap, but again, they get that all posted over there again now. And they have that all posted now because there was a huge homeless encampment in there last year. Big homeless encampment. You could see the tarps and everything from the interstate you can see all the tents and everything and there's all kinds of trash out there they had to haul all the trash out the city of Bang come down and cleaned it up they hauled the garbage and stuff out by the dump truck load and they filled they filled about 12 dump trucks of nothing but trash out of there from where the homeless people were being dirty and stuff throwing you know they had their tents and stuff and they just started throwing trash everywhere out there Instead of taking bottles and cans back for the redemptions, they were throwing them everywhere, breaking glass, and just trash, trash, trash everywhere. Well, if I would have been, if I was me in a predicament like that, nasty in the tent in the woods, and I was homeless, I wouldn't be trashing the area I was staying in. How's it going? Well, I wouldn't be crash in that area that I was staying in if I were homeless and stuff. I'd be trying to take pride in it, keep my area clean. Don't want to live in a dump. But I also wouldn't be in a tent for long either. You know, that area is all wooded. So you got woods. So you got resources. Wood. We get resources there with the wood and stuff. I'd make I'd be making me a cabin in the woods. Mm. That's how I look at it, but oh well, that's not that's me, it's not everybody else. Black here is broken, but tell us about the Condescade Canoe Race. Somebody's personal picture is put in here. Makes me wonder who that is. Looks like they're in the hospital having a baby or something. A guy and a girl. But anyways, this is the site of Spring Condescade Canoe Race, okay? Each year on the third weekend in April, the stream comes alive with its own right of spring. Kanuska Extreme Canoe Race since its beginning in May 20th, 1967, when 32 entrants participated, has become an annual tradition that has grown into one of the largest events of its kind in the country. Annual contestants now number well over a thousand and spectators in tens of thousands. The race starts in the village of Kanuska and after 10 miles of paddling along the, along a 
mean during stretch of mostly flat water contestants receive a rude awakening and 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 often a chilling dunk in the fast water at six mile falls the action is fast paced from there to the finish line at Conduscate plaza in downtown bangor a uh, few craft are totaled on the rocks each year but due to the vigilance of rescue crews there have been there have never been any serious mishaps the reefs includes many types of different watercraft ranging from one-man canoes to 30 foot bateaus, giant war canoes and kayaks one contestant entered a bathtub crews range in age from children to grandparents male and female and from novice to experienced world-class paddlers there's little pictures of them there going down over the rapids and stuff and pictures of that guy standing up more pictures over the rapids oh yeah going down over the rapids wow Now we're up to the bridge, cross over the bridge here. And the water going over right now, there's an alcove down in there. I'll go with the olives. Made by the water eating into the rock and I'll over like that. Used to go swimming down here as a kid too, down under the bridge and down through here. And that bridge rock right there, that's Lover's Leaf. Yeah, actually go over there today. Nothing better to do. Didn't quite the hike up through into there, but I can do it. I haven't done it a long time, but I know I can do it. Make my way up there just for the pictures and the view. And make my way back down. As I get close to the footbridge area, I'm going to turn around, walk back to the car, get the car, try to take it down to the footbridge area. Canoe over there, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, canoe over there, let people out here practicing for the canoe race next week. You'll see all kinds of people out and about washing, you'll see people standing up here on the on this dock here next week, this used to be another dam right here. At one time, um, I think it used to be a flour mill right here for a dam, or it was a grain mill anyways. That metal ring right there, that's part of the old grinding wheel there. The water's rushing around. Very good for the year. Big rock right there. Right there, that's Lover's Leap. If I want to go up there or not, but I might. It's been a long time since I've been up there. It's quite the hike to get up there, so. What a almost straight up climbing to get up there in places. Last time I ever did it, I was 
young and numb as a teenager. These rescue crews practicing for the canoe race. Wicked nice out today. Nice little walk along the Kanduska Extreme. I'm almost up to the part where it goes to the footbridge, so here on top of this hill here, I'm gonna turn around, walk back to the car. Grab the car and go down along the footbridge part. So, I'll oh, walk out through here real quick before I turn around. Because I'm at the top of the hill, almost in the footbridge area. Get over there, just cross the bridge and. So, I could have gone down further, but you see the trail moving down to the water's edge. But quite the, quite the stream today is quite up, quite high. Uh, it'll be quite a canoe race when it happens on Saturday of next week. All right, head back to the car and go further down to the footbridge and walk that.